Okay, so we're playing roulette, blah, blah, blah. Do you know how roulette wheel works? There's the numbers 1 through 38, and then there's 0, and there's double 0, which are green. Like that. That makes sense. You know how this works. Um, so what's the probability of the marble landing on 0 or odd? So you can bet different ways when you bet. On roulette, so you can lay down a bet on zero or odd. So, what's the probability when the roulette wheel spin? You know, they spin it one way and the ball the other way, and it eventually bounces in and lands on some number. So, what's the chance it's going to be on zero or odd? How many odd numbers are there? Half odd. Half of these 38 numbers are odd, right? Every other number is odd. 1, 3, 5, 7. So half odd. What's 38 divided by 2? 19 odd numbers. And then the 0 is plus 1 more. There's 20 that are odd or 0, right? Because there's 0 here. So, there's, so, the, so the answer to this question is 20 out of how many total possible slots? 40, right? Because 38 and then two more. Do you see what I mean? Zero and double zero are actually spots on the roulette wheel. Zero and double zero. The slots are numbered one through two with two additional slots that are painted green. Consider the numbers as neither odd nor even. Exactly. Half the remaining. Yeah. So it's still part of the total, though. Yeah, so the bottom is the total. So that's right. The bottom of probability is always the total number of slots. That's 40. And there's 20 that are either odd, right, because there's 19 odd numbers, and then there's the single zero. They said you want, you want the single zero or an odd number. So that would be 20 different things. So that's a half, isn't it? So if you're betting on getting either odd or a single zero, the chance of that happening is a half. 20 out of 40. 20 out of 40 slots. Do you know why they have the the because you the, the the 38 are green and black aren't they they're green and black and then why do they have the zero and the double zero that's kind of weird other countries i don't know other countries don't use double zero they just use zero and uh, oh just zero yeah and double zero was the only way to use it yeah, well well you know why i don't know about double zero but do you know why they use something other than just the numbers one through 38 because otherwise, if you bet on odd or even, you'd have a 50% chance. At least, at least you'd break even. By putting in the zero, they make your chances below 50%, which is what the casino's in the business to do. Which is fine. I'm fine with them doing their business. Don't just pretend you're giving away money. That's just lying. But, but, but don't you be fooled, right? That's exactly why they do that. So the odds are less than 50% if you bet on even or you bet on odd. My son went with his, uh, he's at Fresno State, went with his frisbee team like last year sometime they were in i think they're in las vegas i think they're playing a tournament in las vegas and him and his buddy went they said let's just go to the casino and let's just put he's over 21 and just put let's just put 20 bucks down or 10 bucks you do even i'll do odd right so i so my son did one the other guy put it on something you know one was on even one was odd. they're like one of us will win you know and the other one will lose we'll break even as a team whatever they rolled the thing came out green zero they both lost. And my son was like, yeah, that's the casinos. They take your money. They take it all. <laughs> all right. Playing Mercury Leg, uh, spins a marble, uh, lands in one of the 38 slots, slots are number 136, two additional slots. Yeah, yeah, we've been over that. Assume a single spin. Find the probability of winning given the bet. Example of a line bet. Oh, okay. So what's, what if you want these. It's called a line bet. So anyway, whatever. We don't need all those details. What if you're just saying, I really hope that either 9 or 10 or 11 or 12 or 13 or 14 comes up. That's, that's what they're asking me. What's the probability you're going to get 9 or 10 or 11 or 12 or 13 or 14? So what's the probability? Well, the total again is 40, right? Because there's 38 numbers plus 0 and double 0. So the probability equals. And then how many is this? One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six different out of 40. Then you reduce that fraction. Wait, something's wrong. Well, this is one, two, thirty-six. Oh, I didn't notice. It only goes one. Why is it only? 
Oh, I've got that wrong. It's 38 total slots. It's just 1 through 36. Did I do the last problem wrong? Yeah. Oh. Joel, you got to say something, man, when I'm being crazy. Let's go back here. I just, I'm just reading it too quick. No, 1 to 36. You're right. So, so I did that wrong. Let me go back here. This is all wrong. 1 to 36. So there's 18 odd numbers and then the other two. So there's only 38 total and um, only 38 total. Oh, it still came out of half by luck. I got lucky. It's 19 out of 38. Every now and then you get lucky in math. So 19 out of 38, still a half. So there's, there's 19 odd numbers because... Um, yeah, it's just, or no, there's, there's 18 odd numbers. Well, well there's, eight, there's, there's 18 odd, and there's one single zero. So that's a total of 19 that are either odd. Yeah, I, I didn't read the question clearly. So, yeah, it's one through, there's 38 slots. It's one through 36, and then, and then the zero and double zero. So that's only 38 total slots. Thank you, I'm messing up. 38 total slots. Reduce that, reduce that. I got to read all the words. Three out of 19, that's how we got it. Is that making sense? We good with that? Let's keep moving. Okay. What do you all think? So you're rolling a pair of dice, two dice. Pair of dice, and you want a sum of nine. So that would be playing the game of craps. That's two dice at a time. That's exactly what they do. But also all kinds of board games. So Monopoly, Settlers of Catan, if you ever play that. Our family plays that sometimes. Tons of board games, two dice. Roll them. Do you know anything about the probabilities involved with rolling two dice? What's the chance of getting a sum of nine? What if, you're, what if you're, your friend, your sibling is nine spaces away from Boardwalk and you own Boardwalk? And they're rolling. You're hoping they're going to roll a nine. What's the chance they're going to roll nine? You know, you know when, we, when we play these games as a family, we're always, I'm always bugging everybody with the probabilities. But most, a lot of them know it. Um, okay, so let's just lay, here's, what, here's the best way to do it. Let's just lay out everything that can happen when you roll two dice. So that's going to be a big old table. In fact, I want more room. So let's just do it here. Roll to this. This would be a helpful thing to put. Our exam's two weeks from today. Did I tell you, I put it off one more, one more place. The exam's two weeks from today, the 26th. Um, anyway, so for that exam, it'd be good to have this on your 3 by 5 card. This would be very helpful to you. I'm going to lay out a whole diagram now with the things that can happen when you roll two dice. It's going to be a six by six array because, you know, you can get one through six on the first die and one through six on the second die. So here we go. It's one, then one, one, then two, one, then three, one, then four, one, then five, one, then six. And then you can get two on the first die. So you see what, I, what those results mean? It was one on the first die, one on the second. One on the first die, two on the second. You get it, right? This isn't rocket science here. It's casino science, dice science. So I'm just going to list out all the different things. You see how there's going to be 36 different things that can happen when you roll two dice? there so there's 36 different things that can happen when you roll two dice now let's talk about the sums because that's what they're asking us about what's the most likely sum if you roll two dice what sum will happen most likely what's that seven yeah can you tell why on the diagram See the main diagonal? See how the sum for all those is 7? See how if you get 1 in 6, that's a total of 7. 
2 and 5 is a total of 7. 3 and 4 is a total of 7. 4 and 3, 5 and 2, 6 and 1. Those all total 7, don't they? If you roll any of those results, you're going to get a total of 7. How many different results is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 boxes. 6 different ways to get a sum of 7, a total of 7. So what's the chance? If you roll 2 dice, you're going to get a sum of 7. 6 out of 36, which reduces to be 1 6, huh? Because there's 36 different boxes up there, 36 different things that can happen. Six of those boxes are a sum of seven. You see that? Now, just below that, next diagonal is a sum of eight. And that's five out of 36, isn't it? And so is the one right above it, sum of six which is also 5 out of 36. See how there's 5 boxes for a sum of 6 or 8? Because that's 1 above and below 7. See, 7 is the most likely sum, and as you go above and below that, it gets le less and less likely. Let's keep going. Is that making sense so far? Right? The chance, if you're going to roll 2 dice, the chance that the total is 8. 2 and 6, 3 and 5, 4 and 4, 5 and 3, 6 and 2, they all have a total of 8, don't they? 5 different boxes... 5 out of 36 is your chance of rolling two dice and getting a total of 8. Anybody play Settlers of Catan that I mentioned a minute ago? Anybody play that board game? Our family does a lot of games. We're a gamers. And so if you ever see that, well, it doesn't know if you've never seen it. They, they have, that's how they have the spaces, and you want to get the properties that have these sums. They're more valuable because they're more likely. That's why. Okay. Next, let's keep going. If you do the next diagonal... The sum is 9. I think that's what our question is, isn't it? Sum of 9. And what is that? How many boxes on total 9? Four boxes out of 36, which reduces to be 1, 9. Same thing if you go this way. Sum of 5, it's also 4 boxes out of 36, 1 ninth. Not 1 ninth. Yeah, 1 ninth. Yeah, that is right. See how, see how the, the main diagonal is the best, and then as you go above and below it, you get less and less. Keep going. Here, this is a sum of 10. It's only 3 out of 36, which reduces to be a 12th. And this is a sum of 4, which again is 3 out of 36. One twelfth. And two more. So right here, sum of 11, 2 out of, not 13, 2 out of 36, 1 18th, right here. This is the sum of 3. And finally, last, last one, sum of 12. One out of three, very unlikely. They call that, what do they call that when you roll two sixes? Box cars is the name. They look like box cars. And then sum, here's, here's also sum of two. What do they call sum of two? Snake eyes. Snake eyes. That one's more commonly known. Snake eyes, two, two, sum of two, one and one. One out of 36 for that, huh? Very unlikely. So there you go. There's the probabilities for all the different sums. Yeah. Hmm, let's go see what the question is. So we good with that chart? So I would put that chart, I just put that on my 3x5 card for the, for the exam. You'll be able to handle any question about the total on two dice. That shows everything that can happen to us. So there on mine, they're asking what's the sum of 9. So that would be 1 ninth, right? Sum of 9 is 1 ninth. Let's see, was that my question, sum of 9? Sum of nine. Oh, oh, it's odds. Okay, yeah, let me, let me. So all that we just said is good and true and right, but then we need one more step. Yeah, and that's why yours is off too, Joel. Let me, let me explain. So we just looked at this table. Sum of nine. Sum of nine. Four out of 36 or one ninth is the probability, right? Now I need to explain to you odds because they're saying odds, which is probability with one more simple step. So everybody good so far? Sum of nine is, is one ninth, right? Okay. So the probability is one 
Nine. That's probability. But they're asking odds. Now, how do odds compare to probability? Remember what probability is? It's four over total. I don't know if I've been calling it four. It's the number that you want. It's, it's, it's how many results are for what you want to happen. One ninth. There's one thing for me out of nine total possible things that might happen. Right? If you're thinking, I really want to get a 36. I'm sorry, I really want to get a sum of nine. One ninth, okay. Odds, odds are four to against. So the only difference then between odds and probability is the denominator or the conclusion because they both start off with four, don't they? They both start off with four. Probability is four over total. Odds is four and against. That's the only difference. So think with me for a minute. What if there were nine people total in the room? There's nine people in the room total, and one person is for an issue, whatever that issue is, you know? How many are against the issue? If there's nine in the room and only one is for the issue, how many are against the issue? Eight, the other eight, right? Well, that's what's going on here. Because odds, odds is like a debate or something, for and against, you know? Whereas probability is four in total. So the only difference between odds and probability is the second number. They both start with four. They both start with the first number. So the first number is going to be one for odds, same thing. Use the word two. You don't make it a fraction for whatever reason. You just do it sideways. And then the against, well, you tell me if there's nine people total and one is for the issue, eight must be against it. One to eight. That's what they want. So the only difference between odds and probability, odds is for and against, like a debate or something. Whereas probability is four over total. Makes sense? So that's our answer. One to eight. That's the odds of rolling a sum of nine, a total of nine. I'll try one more of these, but all we have time. And we'll see if we can answer this question. All right, first off, part A. The probability of rolling a sum not more than... Oh, it's probability, by the way. Notice they went back to probability now. It's not odds. So we don't have to take that extra step. We can just go straight from probability. So probability of a sum that, watch that not, that not switches everything, doesn't it? Not more than seven. What does that mean, not more than seven? Not more than, what if I say, hey, I rolled the dice, I got something not more than, try to be real, the more real you are, the better you'll do. Don't, don't, don't let it be some out there weirdo math thing. Make it real. Bring it home. Think about actually doing it. I rolled the die. I got something not more than seven. Just realize, what does that mean? If I said, hey, I got not more than seven. So I got six or five or four or three or two. You can't get a sum lower than two, huh? That, that's my total on my two dice. It's either two, three, four, five, or six is what they're saying. It's just a weird way of saying they either got two, three, four, five, or six, right? That's not Oh, wait, wait, wait. No. Oh, it could be seven also. Yeah. yeah. Not more than seven. So seven's not more than seven. Thanks. Yeah, I could tell you guys were um, seeing that. Good, thanks. Yeah, not more than seven. That could be seven or below, couldn't it? If it's not more than seven, then it could be seven, right? All right, so basically they're asking us, what's the chance that the total on the dice is two, three, four, five, six, or seven? Let's go back to the table. Sum of two, sum of three, sum of four, sum of five, Sum of six, sum of seven. All those added up. How many in the sum of seven? Six, five, four results here, three, two results here, one result here. All those different results are a sum seven or below, not more than seven. Seven or below, right? So there's six results, five results, four results, three results, two results, and one result. Add that up. 11, 15, 18, 19, 20, 21 results. 21 different results are not more than 7. They're 7 or below. Am I going too quick? Does everybody see that? Right? If you've got a 1 and a 6, any of, these, any of these results, all of these results are not more than 7. They're 7, right? Anything in this main diagonal is a total of 7. Next diagonal, total of Six, total of five, four, three, and this is how many. When I write that six, I'm saying there's six boxes in that diagonal. Five boxes in the next diagonal. Four boxes in the next diagonal, right? That's how many boxes. 
This, this, this main diagonal is a sum of seven, but has six boxes. The next, the blue one is a sum of six, but only has five boxes. You tracking with me? So total number of boxes, 21 boxes. So that would be, where are we? 21 out of 36. And then you got to reduce that. Divide by three. What's that? Seven twelfths? There's the probability that you're going to roll a sum not more than seven. If you're playing boardwalk or whatever and you need to get something seven or less, there's the chance. It's just more than half. All right. We'll stop there.